Hi there. Hi there. It's a beautiful day. Yes, yes it is. I definitely think it's summer. Remember last fall when we went to Rhinebeck? Yeah, that was a while ago. But it almost seems like it's happening now. Hi there, I'm Kat. Let's knit together. We're still here at the New York State Sheep and Wool Festival. more attracted looking at the fiber than I am at the yarn because I, I think wow that's a pretty yarn but I can make something nicer I don't know what's wrong with me I really like merino tensile it spins up pretty and it has a really nice sheen to it and then it knits up in a gorgeous shine get some of this. It's eight ounces. This should make quite a lot of pretty yarn. always been a woodworker by profession and I had asked him to make me a drop spindle and he did he made me a drop spindle and it, it was not the, the ones that we're selling now with the bronze alloy ring it was a little different it was it was what it was rim weighted but not you know a little different prior to beginning projects I, I like to explore different ideas rather than just having one idea and just going ahead with what I think uh, an item should be. I like to experiment and just test out different possibilities. So 
I, I made the wooden ones, and then when the rings came, I made that one. And when we compared the two, found that there was a remarkable difference in the spinning of the spindle with the ones with the bronze rings. And I discontinued making the wooden ones. Uh, having the weight on the outside uh, increases the spin time, which is important for spinners. And removing weight in unnecessary areas like the inside and areas that are closer to the center is important. Uh, for instance, I'm making some newer spindles that are different. It's still ring, decorative ring, but notice that all the unnecessary weight is taken out of the inside. Being a wood carver at heart, I do like to work with artistic designs and things like that. Do you carve all of these yourself? I do. Mm -hmm. uh, I do have two sons that work with me. I'm training one of them to do some of some carving on uh, the Celtic ring, on, on this one. Actually, one the other son did do uh, some of these, so they're they're working on it. <laughs> <laughs> this is our spinning wheel. The drop spindles led to the spinning wheel. Uh, note that we're using a bronze ring like the drop spindle, and this uh, gives an easier, more even treadling. It's a double treadle, but you can just very easily use one foot to treadle it because of the momentum. It's very easy. There's 26 sealed ball bearings in the whole unit, and it doesn't take any oil at all. Is this all hand carved as well? It's hand carved, yep. There's no, uh, I don't have any computerized um, equipment in the shop at all. And um, it's all laid out by hand, and, and I do all the carving. It. And I have a machine shop do the milling on the ring. There's a lot of precision that goes into this. The wheel itself, you don't want it to like wobble back and forth. It has adjustment screws. Humidity can't affect the wood. You can bring things back into alignment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have a lot of different designs for the carving, or is yeah, this yes, the common? there are several designs. Uh, right now, I'm working on a dragonfly wheel. <laughs> and, you know, it is quite refreshing to have uh, the customers come up with ideas the drop spindles also, the customers will have, well, can you make a fox or a howling wolf or skull and crossbones and all kinds of, of requests. So far, there hasn't been skull and crossbones wheel yet. <laughs> but who knows? You know? <laughs> I'm having a lamb sandwich with a little bit of ketchup. That was an awesome trip. We're looking forward to going again this year. We're making great progress toward our goal for the computer. We want to thank everyone who has donated so far. We truly appreciate your support of the show. Some folks have been super generous, and we've decided that if you donate $100 or more, we'll send you our first two DVDs free. We still have quite a ways to go to reach our goal. If you can help us out by donating, 
please click the chip in button on the website. Thanks! Stupid. <laughs>